Welcome back to Thrani, I'm Joe B. Do you know how the lumbar spine, pelvis, and hip joints move during walking? If not, then today we'll delve into the intricate joint mechanics of the lumbar spine, pelvis, and hip during gait. Let's dive in. In the side view, the flexion of the right hip during Initial contact results to stretching of the posterior or back soft tissue structures that results to a backward or posterior ilial rotation. In addition, there is also a right forward pelvic rotation in the top view. At the same rate, since the left hip goes into hip extension, then the anterior soft tissue structures or front soft tissue structures on the left side get stretched. This results to a forward or anterior ilial rotation. Furthermore, there is also a left backward pelvic rotation in the top view. If you look at it in the back view, but this time when the left leg is stepping forward, the flexion of the left hip during initial contact results to a stretching of the posterior or back soft tissue structures that results to a backward or posterior ilial rotation. In addition, there's also a left forward pelvic rotation in the top view. The sacrum and lumbar spine rotates towards the left side forward leg due to stretching of the left iliolumbar ligament from the backward ilial rotation. Since the right hip goes into extension, then the anterior or front soft tissue structures on the right side get stretched that results to a forward or anterior ilial rotation. So do you want to know the lumbar spine, pelvic, and hip joint mechanics during sit to stand? If so, then this video is for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.